Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, for today's video, uh, try natin i um, troubleshoot ang uh, window type aircon na to. Uh, ang problem niya is um, hindi nagsa-start or walang lamig. Um, alam natin mayroong power but uh, walang lamig and then um, hindi ko narinig yung fan. I'm not sure if the compressor is also bad but so pakita ko lang yung problema so ligay natin sa quiet cool ayan humming lang siya so i think that's the compressor already pero walang fan okay so yun yung problema niya um pag ilalagay ko to sa fan ayan eto dahil naka fan to um dapat marinig ko yung fan diba um wala pang compressor to pero hindi nagpa-fan and I, and I think if lalagay natin sa quiet cool or sa cool yun na yun sana yung compressor pero hindi tumutuloy kasi walang fan okay so and titingnan natin yung titingnan natin yung swing okay naman yung swing ang kikita nya and so alam natin mayroong power yung unit pero kahit fan man lang wala okay so and alright so tatanggalin ko yung aircon and then try natin niya isolate kung ano yung problema alright alright guys so I already checked these uh, wires here and there's a reading naman so uh, important thing is uh, there's the reading so there's no problem there okay so dito naman tayo sa the most common problem though kasi dito is yung capacitor um, so baka yung fan side meron kasi yung fan uh, parang may uh, there's one terminal going to the compressor and there's one going to the fan so I think the fan side is already defective so let's open this one all right guys I already removed the capacitor so before we did do the uh, testing visual inspection muna tayo so ang usual kasi na um, sign na bad capacitor is yung lumulobo uh, or bulging so right now um, I can see na meron lang konti na hindi siguro masyadong kita sa camera but uh, hindi siya hindi na siya masyadong flat and then napansin ko din that here uh, by the way before you uh, uh, before you troubleshoot this one make sure na na discharge mo na siya so short mo lang yung ano I already did that part so eto Meron din siyang konting bulging. So, hindi siya masyadong physically kita pero um, meron siyang konting-konti lang. And then, here, meron na rin siyang parang leaking. So, I think this is the problem. So, tester na rin natin para sure na confirm this is the problem. Okay. And guys, ito test natin. Uh, not sure if you can see this kasi mahirap pawakan eh but test natin to ayan meron siyang 1 microfarad ito yung uh, dapat 2 microfarad to base sa rating so meron siyang 1 uh, ayan pa lang hindi na siya enough and then dito naman sa kabilang terminal wala talaga ayan o oh. ayan wala talaga tapos itong isa may one na dapat two uh, supposed to be two and then the other one is supposed to be 15 but then there's no rating so definitely uh, a bad capacitor so um, we have to replace this one um, have to buy one sa local electronic electronics uh, store hopefully meron silang para para on ito and let's see what happens but yeah Ganun lang po mag-test. Right? 
So, see you guys later pag napalitan ko na. Alright guys, so I was able to buy a replacement capacitor. Ito na siya, same rating, 15 and 2 microfarads. So, ayan. Alright, so this one I bought for only 330 pesos sa uh, local electronics store. Yung name ng electronics store is Ohms Electronics. So, ayan, mura-mura lang 330 Alright, so now, ipapakita ko sa inyo bakit good capacitor. So, syempre, alam naman natin brand new and this was tested already there. So, papakita ko lang um, kung uh, compare kanina anong difference. Alright, so, kung makita nyo to, let's see, ayan. So, ito yung 2 microfarad. So, right now, is 2.14 which is okay at least. Ano, compare kanina, um, one lang siya. Uh, one microfarad. Tapos pag ililipat ka doon sa isang terminal, ayan, 14.9. So, okay lang yan kasi 15 dapat yan eh. Pero, okay lang 14.9. But, compared dun sa kanina, zero talaga. Walang um, zero yung etong dapat na 15. Tapos yung dapat naman na 2, uh, one lang. So, kaya alam, alam na talaga na sira yung kanina. So, ayan. Re-replace na natin. Lalagay na natin dito and then to test natin. Alright, post ko muna. Alright guys, ito na siya. Um, hindi ko muna kinlose. Um, I, kept, I kept it open kasi hindi natin alam kung it's gonna work. But I'm positive very well. Um, I already connected the two um, cables at the back. Ground. But we'll see. Power is connected and see how it goes. So, find muna tayo. Okay. You can find ya. I don't know back at the kanina but ito yung fan so off natin initially wala talaga yung fan so ngayon meron na ayan okay may fan na okay na then so quite cool ayan narinig ko na yung ano compressor so malamig na rin ayan so okay na siya uh, close ko na lang to and then using the cable Okay, <clears throat> all right, so let's just recap. This air conditioning uh, unit is already 13 years old and it failed last night. And we thought na talagang deads na talaga kasi, you know, that old 13 years, um, siguro naman nasulit na namin yung gamit sa kanya. And we thought we would be shedding 10,000 pesos for a new air conditioning unit so uh, buti na lang buti na lang uh, okay na ulit so nakasave kami ng 10,000 alright so ang problema niya uh, nung nag fail siya is um, it's not starting the fan is not turning on uh, humming lang pag pag, uh, pag fan uh, again walang walang noise ng fan of course na paano alam natin ano yung noise ng fan so dapat fan, walang fan pagdating naman sa compressor sa mga quiet cool high cool um, wala siyang <coughs> ugong lang ugong lang so parang nagtatry yung compressor but syempre walang hangin so that was the problem um, uh, ayun yung symptoms niya so uh, the problem was a bad capacitor so yun yung pinalitan natin uh, bad capacitor lang pala which is worth 300 plus pesos uh, instead of buying a new air conditioning na 10,000. So, pwede pa siya. I know uh, one of these days siguro, maybe next year, two years from now, since 13 years old na to, mag-fail na rin naman siya eventually, maybe compressor or something. 
But kung capacitor lang naman ulit, wala problema, right? Kasi alam natin paano palitan, madali lang naman palitan and hindi na kailangan mag welding or something. So, yun guys. Um, ayos, successful yung um, repair natin. Uh, DIY repair lang to. Um, we were able to save so only 300 pesos and we were able to save uh, a brand new for a brand new unit. Alright, in lang po. Uh, if you like the video, share. Uh, share and like and subscribe na rin sa channel.